This is Zechariah 5 and 1. Then turned I and lift up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of great millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with true sincerity and with charity. And um, uh, that particular scripture is basically what we would call a chariot scripture. A scripture that goes into the chariots of Yahweh by Shemir which is uh, uh, the people of in Babylon, the Great, and other places in the world call it UFOs or IFOs. Okay, but we know that these are the chariots of Yahweh by Shemir the vehicle of destruction to the wicked and the vehicle of salvation unto the righteous. All right, and um. Yeah, this, uh, this particular video on the uh, the brother ICR, um, uh, his channel is what inspired me uh, to bring that out. And watching this video, it just seems it it shows it shows you how proud and arrogant Esau really is, man. You know, I want to pay one particular clip, uh, part of that clip, if I may. It shows you how just total, totally arrogant this devil is, but uh, let me go ahead and play that. President Obama said <laughs> that there is footage and uh, records of objects in the skies, these unidentified aerial phenomenon, and he says we don't know exactly what they are. What do you think that it is? I would ask him again. Thank you. <laughs> Right. And uh, this is a pretty uh, good video. Uh, I got through some of it, but I'm planning on watching the rest of it. But it just goes to show you that he's he's proud, man. All right. And these chariots are entering in the um, into the house of the thief, man. You know, he's entering into the house of the thief and pretty much. This is this land is uh, and, you know, basically anywhere he is outside of Mount Sierra, uh, he basically stole that land, man. OK. You know. And, and he's proud about it, man. Uh, 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 scriptures talk about how he um, how basically he um, uh, uh Took our land with the uh, in in the um, the pride of his of his heart, man, and the pride of his mind. You know, roughly paraphrasing that scripture, I can't quite remember where it's at right now. You know, so they proudly and they're proud about you know what they've done here on earth, man. All right. He's a proud man. This is uh, Habakkuk two and four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Okay. Yea, also because he transgresses transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. OK, so he's and the scriptures talk about how he says he robbed the treasures, how he put down the nations like a valiant man. None peeped and, uh, 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 you know, basically spoke against him, man, you know. Hey, when he came to power as Alexander, the uh, the the the, uh, the creep, you know, uh, it says in uh, the book of Maccabees, it says that um, the earth was quiet before him, man. So his his heart is, as the scripture says, the pride of thy heart have deceived thee, man. So the Lord is coming with these chariots, and, and and you have nothing but pride, man, to fight with, man. You know, those, those the weapons that the Lord gave you, those are his weapons. 
Okay, those those are his, man. You know, and they, they, they're not going to put put a scratch on one of these chairs. They're not going to touch the angels of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. And the, and, the, and the armies, when they come in, you know. Uh, in fact, let me get a scripture on that. This is Isaiah 31 and 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not Yahweh, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they shall fail together. All right? Because the scriptures talk about how all these nations are going to be fighting each other, and then they're going to uh, stop fighting each other to try to fight the chariots on the arrival of Yahweh Shai, man. And they're going to all get their ass smoked and cooked immediately. All right? Okay, so this is what the, this is what's prescribed, man. And this 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 devil's pride is is unbelievable. You know? And it's it's you're just talking about how um in fact, let me get it. Uh, I hope I'm spelling this right. Uh, let me see. Right, I might as well. Uh, I might as well just read this from the top. This is Second Ezra, uh, thirteen and one. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen unto him. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when it filleth the fire." All right, so the Lord's coming with the armies and the chariots, man, and they're going to burn stuff up, man. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue that man that came out of the sea. Right, so, yeah, man, They so all these, um, you know, armies are going to try to fight the Lord, you know, when he comes out of the, the sky, and I beheld, and lo, he he graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. That's talking about the uh, fathership. But I would have seen the region or place wherewith the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, yet durst fight. So yeah, this devil, he's going to see the, the, the Yahweh Shai, the chariots come, He's still going to try to fight. The Lord's going to put the spirit on him to fight, man. You know, and we're seeing that spirit of pride, man. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out his mouth as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. And this is talking about the the lasers that's going to come out the chariots on, 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 on the arrival of, of, of our Lord Yahweh Shai in, in the armies of heaven. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. Okay, so the Lord's going to overcook you, you people, man. All right. He's going to, as scripture says, I shall uh, uh, um, lay, no, lay low, lay low, lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, man. You, you, your pride is going to be brought down to the dust, man, as the scripture says, man. OK. So, yeah, man, you know, the pride versus the chariots, Esau's pride versus chariots, man, you know. You're going to be totally decimated, man. 
All right. And, and there's no chariot crashed in area 51, man. Chari the chariots of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai do not crash, man. Okay. So, man, you're pretty, you're pretty much screwed, man. So, yeah, it's a quick lesson I want to do with that, Shalom.